understood what density is. In the same given amount of space, if there are more things, we say that it's denser. Density is simply the measure of how compact the mass in a substance or object is. It's mass per unit volume. And based on this formula, we can say that its unit is kilogram per meter cubed. So can you tell me what relative density is? Look at the word relative. What does it tell you? It tells us that we are looking at the density of something relative to the density of something. We are comparing the density of one thing to the density of another. That's all. But the question is relative to what? It's most typically the density of water. Yes, we look at the density of an object relative to the density of water. How do we define the relative density of a substance? It equals the ratio of its density to that of water. Yes, density of the substance over the density of water. Can you tell me the unit of relative density? Look at the right hand side and tell me the unit. As it is a ratio of similar quantities, relative density will have no units. The units from the numerator and denominator cancel each other out. The density of water is 1000 kilograms per meter cubed and the density of silver is 10,500 kilograms per meter cubed. So can you tell me the relative density of silver? It's easy. Just refer to this formula and try answering it. It will equal the density of silver over the density of water. Substituting the values here, we get the answer as 10.5. That's the relative density of silver. What does the relative density tell us though? What can we understand from this? First, it tells us that silver is a lot more dense than water under the given conditions. Approximately 10.5 times denser. But that's pretty obvious given the numbers. This tells us another important thing. It tells us whether the object will float or sink in water. In simple terms, a substance will sink if it's denser than the liquid it's placed in. And it will float if it's less dense than the liquid it's placed in. How can we say this mathematically? If the relative density of a substance is greater than 1, then it will sink. And if it's lesser than 1, it will float. As the relative density of silver is 10.5, which is greater than 1, it will sink in water. But if we take the example of ice, its density is approximately 934 kilograms per meter cubed. So its relative density will be 0 0.934. As its relative density is lesser than 1, it will float in water. We can understand this with a simple diagram. Take four beakers filled with water. In the first one, drop a substance with a relative density of 0 0.1. You'll see that it floats like this. In the second one, drop a substance with relative density of 0 0.4 and you'll see that it floats like this. More of it is inside the water. And if it's 0 0.9, even more of it will be inside the water. But it will still float. And if it's greater than 1, say 1.2 or 1.3, then it will sink. Okay, here's one last question for you. Can the relative density of an object be 0? The answer is no, it can't be 0. Because if the relative density is 0, it will mean that the density of the substance is 0. Which in turn will mean that the mass of the substance is 0. For any given substance, its mass in a given volume cannot be zero. And you should also know that relative density is constant only under given conditions. It is pressure and temperature dependent. The same substance can have different relative densities under different pressures or temperatures. <laughs>